Hello everyone! One Voice magazine has been having a lot of requests for devotionals to be released. And so this is our first take at uh, releasing something of this nature. Now, uh, for the topic of uh, this morning's discussion, we will be uh, talking about dream seeds. What are the dreams that God has placed in your heart and how are they growing? When we were children, uh, some of you watching this might be really, really young. I don't know how old you are, but uh, when we were still children, we had lots of dreams, like loads of outrageous dreams. Maybe some of us here um, wanted to be a garbage truck collectors, you know, maybe some of us here wanted to be opera singers, you know, pop singers, soldiers. And uh, as we grew older, somehow these dreams started to to lessen in their intensity, you know, fade away. Uh, the educational system came in and we realized that, hey, there's math, science, English that I have to perform well in. How about my dream of becoming a pilot, for example, okay? And yet, uh, there are some dreams that have stayed in our hearts. Now, dreams are something that uh, even God has. And he had the special dream for the nation of Israel. And uh, if we look at the book of Joshua, like the first chapter, there was something that he told Joshua to do that uh, had so much relationship with the dreams that he had for Israel. So in Joshua 1, 6, for example, he tells Joshua, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. So this is in Joshua 1, 6. So there was something that God wanted to give, that he was dreaming for the nation of Israel, and that was to give them their inheritance, their land, just as a father likes to give his children inheritance. You know, God did the same thing for, for Israel. And, uh, and this was something that Joshua couldn't just um, embrace as God's dream while sitting down and doing nothing. No, there was something that God, that God told him to do, you know, be strong, be courageous, you know, you will lead. So in our, our dreams, you know, when, the, when God gives us dreams, most often than not, the, we cannot just sit down and wait for the fruit to fall from the tree and go, ah, here comes my dream. No, many times we will hear God say, hey, be strong, be courageous, because you are going to do something. Huh? And uh, when these dreams cease, when we start hearing these words from God, you know, we will have a decision. It's like, am I going to do something about the dream seeds that God has placed in my heart? Or am I just going to let them sleep, let them lie? You know, one of my favorite authors, Miles Monroe, said something about the dreams being in the cemetery. Like, uh, uh, it, it's like when you go to a cemetery and you see uh, all these tombstones, you know, how about the dreams that God has placed in our hearts? How about the books, for example, that God wanted us to write about? Are they in the cemetery? You know, do we want to, to not move them until these dreams die? Like, these are questions that, that, um, that should make us think. And if we are in the prime of our lives, these are things that really should get us to move. We have no time to be lazy. Okay. So I guess the challenge is that what are the dreams that God has placed in our hearts? Now, granted, these dreams can have evolved, may have evolved. Most likely than not, they have evolved. Maybe now you don't want to be a, an opera, opera singer or a garbage truck collector, you know. But I'm sure that God has placed something in your heart to be or to do, to do for Him. So that's it. The next step is yours.